Greetings to all of you watching this video. I am Ruchi Arya. Today we are going to discuss about the intellectual property law. The purpose of this presentation is to give you an overview about intellectual property right, the types of intellectual property rights, the purpose in the business of intellectual property right and the process of intellectual property. So let us start with the understanding the meaning and types of intellectual property right. For the intellectual property rights across the world, there is WIPO, that is World Intellectual Property Organization. It was established by the WIPO Convention in 1967. This organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations. It promotes the protection of intellectual property throughout the world it is based or its headquarter is in Geneva, Switzerland. Now, let us understand what actually is intellectual property. Intellectual property is a property that arises from the human intellect or we can say this is the product or creation of the mind. Property that includes intangible creations and inventions from human. It is just like any other property. This intellectual property shares several associated characteristics. We can say it can be considered as an asset and therefore has a monetary value. This is a property like any other property like land, like your car, your house. These are your property, these are your assets same like it is considered as an asset at the very outset one must be understood is that intellectual property can in a sense be considered as a form of property in itself moreover intellectual property much like any other property can be owned transferred sold or even licensed now by in large this particular course will explore several different types of intellectual property, namely that of copyright, industrial design, as well as patents. But for the purpose of identifying two distinct types of intellectual property, it is much easier to consider them as either being on the one hand copyright related and on the other hand industrial property by and large so for example in relation to copyright we will be considering literary works artistic works and scientific works they are books paintings musical compositions plays movies radio tv programs performances and either artistic works these in essence may not take physical form as such rather expression and how they are protected they are protected by copyright other type on the other hand is industrial property which manifests itself as invention industrial design marks protection against unfair competition Intellectual property describes physical matter that is the product of an idea or concept for commercial purpose is industrial property. And these industrial properties are protected by patented objects, by trademarks, by industrial designs, by trade secrets, by layout designs. There are major types of intellectual property. These are functional and technical inventions which are protected by Patents Act, which was the, this Patent Act in 1970. It was amended in 1999 and 2000. The another one is purely artistic works, which is protected by Copyright Act 1967, which was amended in 1982, 1984, then in 1992, then 1994, and in 1999. Then another one is a symbol, logo, word, sound color design etc which is protected by trademark act 1999 which was amended in 1994 1996 and 2000 protection of 
own intellectual property is important. At the same time, it is equally important to take precautions not to infringe any third party's intellectual property rights. Hence, one should protect own intellectual property and respect others' intellectual property as well. Awareness about intellectual property helps in many ways like upgrading core technologies, right directions to research and development, assess intellectual property infringement risk. Awareness of intellectual property helps to minimize patent infringement risk. One acquires legal right over intellectual property once such intellectual property is registered. In order to protect intellectual property, registration under appropriate legal regime is essential. Legally, property means a bundle of rights, ownership and possession. The right held by a person over the creation of his mind for a particular period of time in a given jurisdiction. As I said that this right held by a person over the creation of his mind for a, this right this uh, intellectual property right is not for a you know lifetime right this right is given by law for a particular or for a specified period of time for a particular period of time in a given jurisdiction this is also important to know that these rights are rights of a human being but over his creation but that doesn't mean that this is for lifetime these rights are given by law for a particular period of time in today's dynamic and competitive business environment the intellectual property is a key element needed to maintain a competitive edge in the market it is rather an integral part of the business process in our day-to-day -day life we come across various forms of intellectual property such as movies, drugs, songs, electronic devices and so on. But this is not it. If you want to acquire legal right over your intellectual property, you once such intellectual property is registered, then only you can acquire that legal right over your intellectual property. Because just to say that I have an idea, like a producer who wants to produce a movie, he has an idea about some story, but he is not able to express it or we can say if it is not in any kind of return or any form which can be stored or which can be later on used, then that particular idea cannot be protected. This needs to be expressed because under copyright act it is mentioned that copyright does not protect ideas it protect the expression of ideas so for the protection one needs to express this and one can acquire this legal right over intellectual property once such intellectual property is registered further intellectual property as i have already told you that it is right held by a person over the creation of his mind this right is not for lifetime this is for a particular period of time and in a given jurisdiction this is nowadays in a dynamic uh, and competitive business environment this is effective acquisition management and protection of intellectual property can mean the difference between success and failure in businesses today one must know about intellectual property in this competitive and dynamic world today because without knowing your right you cannot protect your assets or you can say your property your rights for business growth of any enterprise it is important to protect the innovations and ensure that intellectual property rights of any third party are not infringed if one wants to protect one's own intellectual property, one must respect that he should not infringe the third party's property right. Intellectual property acquires legal rights in the form of copyright, patent, trademark, 
industrial property and so on. It gives the creator an exclusive right over the use of his or her creation for a certain period of time. With this, I want to wind up this presentation and now I hope that now you guys are able to understand what intellectual property is, what are its, uh, you know, uh, what intellectual property comprises and uh, how they are protected and what major types of intellectual property, why it is important and how you can acquire your rights over your intellectual property. From the next lesson onwards, we will discuss the main crux of the subject matter beginning with copyright. Thanks a lot for watching this video.